Olá amigo apaixonado pela fotografia, seja muito bem-vindo aqui ao canal, eu sou o Fran Camargo e tenho o maior prazer de recebê-lo aqui. Ontem nós demos um furo de reportagem mostrando já imagens da nova câmera Sony A74 e hoje oficialmente a Sony lançou a câmera e vou mostrar para vocês o vídeo de lançamento que traz aí todas as novidades que vocês podem ver em detalhe, sem nenhum problema, identificar cada um dos pontos importantes da nova câmera, ok? Então vamos seguir aí, acompanhe o vídeo, depois a gente volta, vamos lá! The wonder of nature Unforgettable scenery Once in a lifetime encounters Loved ones and cherished relationships The people and things that matter to us. Those special places and moments. One-off experiences. And priceless memories. The burning desire of image creators to capture reality as it is. With the expression they desire. And to communicate it even to people far away, making all that possible. For a new generation of image makers. Taking picture quality to the next level with high resolution and outstanding expression. The newly developed 33 megapixel image sensor delivers high resolution performance. Using the 33 megapixel resolution to express fine details and textures of subjects as well as smooth gradations. Noise is well controlled despite the high pixel count thanks to the back illuminated sensor structure. The wide dynamic range allows great expression flexibility during raw development. And the 10-bit HEAF still image format is also available. The adoption of the latest Beyond's XR engine delivers the high speeds and the latest image processing algorithms developed on the flagship model, the Alpha 1. The range of imaging expression includes smooth skin textures together with fine detail and outstanding color reproduction. Focal plane phase detection autofocus points cover a wide area at high density for increased autofocus extent, speed, and tracking performance. Even subjects with complex or unexpected motions are tenaciously tracked. Optimization of the focal plane phase detection autofocus also allows quick and accurate focusing when in AFS mode. The latest autofocus algorithms allow focusing in AFS mode down to EV-4 low light conditions. The detection of human eyes has been significantly improved even with partially obscured faces. Real-time eye autofocus for animals is also provided allowing continuous subject tracking in real time, even if the face turns left and right, or up and down. Real-time eye autofocus can now also detect bird eyes, even under the difficult conditions typical of bird motions, with framing changes as birds abruptly take off, or in fast flight, 
a high level of tracking is maintained. Real-time tracking is now available. If the autofocus on button is pressed, tracking will start instantly, regardless of the camera's autofocus setting. Seamless integration with real-time eye autofocus allows more accurate tracking without losing moving subjects. Continuous shooting is possible at up to 10 frames per second. The combined performance of real-time eye autofocus and real-time tracking ensure that you never miss decisive moments. Increased buffer memory capacity allows uninterrupted continuous shooting. Writing speed has also been significantly shortened, allowing the immediate restart of shooting. The Alpha 7 Mark IV advances not just stills, but also movies, to the next level. Thanks to the new Beyond's XR image processing engine, many of the same formats are available as on the Alpha 1 and the Alpha 7S Mark III. 10-bit 422 All Intra at up to 600 Mbps is provided for high image quality. When recording 4K movies at 30p, oversampled full pixel readout at 7K is performed to produce higher resolution 4K. Various frame rates are available for smooth expression, 4K 60p, and Full HD 120p recording are available, enabling slow motion expression at up to 2.5 times in 4K and up to 5 times in Full HD. The S Cinetone, which produces highly regarded skin tones in cinema line cameras, makes achieving cinematic look easy. Not only is it simpler to perform color matching with S Cinetone equipped cameras, the 10-bit 15 plus stop dynamic range S-Log3 also matches with professional movie cameras, making post-production easy when shooting with multiple cameras. In addition to providing real-time eye autofocus for movies as well as stills, the Alpha 7 Mark IV provides real-time eye autofocus for animals and for the first time in the Alpha series, real-time eye autofocus for birds when shooting movies. The eyes of animals and birds with motions that are difficult to track when shooting movies can be quickly detected and precisely tracked. The Alpha 7 Mark IV also carries a number of newly developed focusing functions. With the new focus map function, the user can easily check in-focus areas visually and intuitively when using manual focus or when using autofocus on gimbal, for example. These leading-edge autofocus functions combine to track subjects robustly and to provide smooth slow motion at up to 2.5 times in 4K with the high image quality of 422 10-bit all intra recording. When shooting video, active mode image stabilization is activated optically, which allows for handheld mobile shooting. The stabilization angles of genuine Sony lenses are programmed into the camera body allowing maximally effective compensation, especially for wide-angle lenses. Então, pessoal, o que vocês acharam da nova câmera? Deixa nos comentários aí, gostaria de saber o que vocês pensam, tá bom? Muito bem, o que a gente percebe com a A7 Que ela veio suprir algumas deficiências da A7 que já era uma câmera muito boa e emblemática, né? Então ela trouxe o LCD articulado, ela trouxe a possibilidade de você gravar em... 4K 60 frames por segundo, né? Em arquivo 422 internamente. Ela trouxe muitas novidades, mas a câmera já era boa. A câmera já tinha uma qualidade excepcional. Ela só estava defasada no mercado em relação ao que foi lançado nos últimos tempos. De qualquer maneira, 33 megapixels é uma boa, porque aumentou a possibilidade de você ter uma resolução melhor, você poder fazer alguns crops nas imagens sem perder muita qualidade. Outra coisa importante é que ela trouxe a atualização do menu. O menu era muito confuso na 7.3 e na 7.4 ela traz aí o novo menu que já foi implantado em algumas câmeras aí lançadas ultimamente pela Sony. Outra coisa que me chamou a atenção é que o sensor não é empilhado, tá? Seria a última tecnologia de desenvolvimento da Sony a nível de sensor. Ele é um sensor retroalimentado por luz, 
que já existia antes desse tipo de sistema na A73 e agora segue com o mesmo patamar. Mas a Sony disse que é um sensor novo, melhorou muito a condição da pele né, de pessoas. Antes ela tinha uma cor meio esverdeada ou magenta, ficava horrível e agora esse tipo de problema foi resolvido. Bom pessoal, era isso que eu tinha para mostrar para vocês hoje. Deixa o likezinho, comenta aí, não esquece de fazer inscrição no canal. Fique em paz, fique com Deus, até a próxima amigo.